All right. So it's a painting, painting platinum 40. Thalo Thursday. 40 is the new 30. I'm not worried about it. Um, it is weird though, isn't it? And this has been, we started, we started this show. Oh, I think we started the week before Thanksgiving or a couple weeks before Thanksgiving. So, uh, we've been here for a little bit. I was just telling Justin that hopefully really soon we'll get into the new studio because working with this red has made me realize um, how off my color is here, but um, we're making it work. So let me, let me adjust my camera a little bit. Oh no. Are you there, Justin? I froze for a second. It scared me. Okay. So the reason I got to adjust everything just a little bit. I apologize. So the reason we're Thalo Thursday is because I've made a little bit extra of the Thalo colors. And for the next few weeks, we're going to be giving away um, Thalo colors, the clears. So what I haven't decided yet is is if we're going to give away the triad, I guess. Um, so we have three clears. Clear orange, clear thalo blue, and clear thalo green. And I will swatch these here in a little bit. So for every five subs, we'll give away, we'll give away the whole triad. We'll do that here. Um, we're going to give away some tonight on Reaper Live, but... For the most part, um, painting platinum is is going to be your your thalo um, your thalo supplier. Hi, Coves, Quindy Larue. We're still working on this phoenix. Um, there was something I was going to talk about, but we might get to it. We might not. It's about color theory. Um, which I don't have just like a wild understanding of, but I would like to work a little bit more within that realm as we get going. So, hi Rings Raccoon. So let's get started. Hopefully I don't get stuff in my way. Okay. So we're doing a green fire and maybe we can use a little phthalo today. So like we'll play with it a little bit. Uh, Chewy Boots, Jay's Basic G, Jedi Jared, howdy howdy. Yeah. So anything fun and new with you? I almost called you Jared. Justin? Um, not particularly. It sounds like there's something you just don't want to tell me. Uh, no. No. Uh, nothing? Uh, nothing you want to share with the class? No, no. I mean, Luca's show, in theory, we, we should be able to start in the next couple of weeks. I mean, it's, it's really on the horizon, so... Oh, okay, guys, I'm about to upgrade my computer. Um, it does this thing. Let me get him. Let me get him higher. Makes me so mad. That should be better. Justin, do a little talking. Do a little chit chat. A little talking, a little chit chatting. A little, little this and that. Well, here we are. I think he should be better now, guys. Much better. Okay, cool. My computer messes with me. Um, I don't know which brush I'm going to use today. Better. We love that. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we won't get too deep into this because I don't want this to go to a place where we're not supposed to go. But this has been a really sad week because um, we lost Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And it's really sad. It's been kind of a, a, a constant in our lives. I think 
I mean, since we were in elementary school, um, she's been on the Supreme Court. So very sad. She'll be missed. She's going to go down as like a major uh, female influence in our, in our country. And I like that. And I also like that, uh, you know, the people were making those kind of memes of her with the with the crown, like the notorious B.I.G., but notorious R.G.B. And she did this interview where she was like, I, I can understand it. Like, I'm paraphrasing. She was like, yeah, we're both from Brooklyn and uh, this and that. And it was it was really cute. So very sad. I, I meant to uh, this morning like talk a little bit about history or something but i got uh i got sidetracked on youtube i don't know if y'all ever plan on getting on youtube and watching something like you plan on watching and then go into youtube hell but that's what i did today so no history not today but yeah 2020 has uh been the worst been the worst 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 and for a lot of people um my uncle was saying it has been saying, well, this has been a really hard year for us. This has been a really hard year for a lot of people. And not in the way people say, uh, oh, this year was awful or whatever. Not in the meme kind of way. Like, this really has been a bad, sorry, a bad year. You can't really see it, but my, my sponge and my wet palette is buckling. I kind of rushed through. There was a tow truck blocking my way, so I got here just about five minutes later than I need to. Yeah, Valander, we're giving away the Thalos. So for every five subs, gift subs, prime subs, uh, what are what are what are prime subs called now? Are they different? Twitch Prime Gaming, I believe, is what they're called. Twitch, yeah, Twitch Prime Gaming, yeah, Meteor. That would be the. That'd be the icing on the cake. I mean, really. But uh, I think we'll get through it. Should be another another something for the history books. I hate that. So, I need that too. Um, somebody asked me... <laughs> Don't, don't mind me, I'm a doomer, says Lebrowski. Um, somebody asked me about samples again. Um, and uh, it was on the, the Facebook fan page. And I explained, we're down a machine right now, and we've been, like, really busy. Uh, Justin and I were just having, like, a, a... Is it a pissing contest if you're being nice? A his more Who's more busy contest is what we were having uh and uh, i was arguing with him that he didn't need as much time as he does but he probably does anyway we're really busy in this department uh we can't we can't hire that many people because it would put people in really close proximity and we're being really careful we don't want we don't want like our own personal outbreak but anyway so what i have here is ghost fire and the thing about any of the clears, but especially like the blue, green, purple, is they are really intense. You really don't need, uh, ooh, image of betrayal. I might make that Barbara armor. Um, I'd be fun if that were a regular color. So you really don't need that much. So even if I do like a drop, so we'll do, we'll experiment a little bit. This will be a painting platinum experiment hour two three drops of ghost fire and this is going to be way too much in in fail exhale it reminded me of old steven oh god i i, I remember that meme that we used to show on the factory uh -huh. of the little oh made me laugh every time not that he talked like that, but we just called him that because that means. No, it was because his name was Stephen, but not with a, not but with a, with a ph. Not with a and ph. People, P. you know, yeah, yeah. He, he spelled it with a ph and not the other way, right? The one with just a v. But it's the Stephen that's just hilarious. 
that is a really pretty color. So this is one drop of the phthalo green with three drops of ghost fire. It's really pretty. Like, I'm so mad about my color being off. I can't even tell you, but it's like almost like a glow wormy, glow wormy color. But you know, blue being the opposite of yellow, we really don't have a whole lot of yellow in this. So we really don't want it being more blue. And I feel like sometimes phthalo green will take things a little blue. So anyway, we'll just keep going with the ghost fire, but I wanted to show you that. And then, oh yeah. And if it's an experiment, I've got to do another. Okay. So one, two, three, we need a control. I guess that would be a three to one would be our control. And this will be our, like a tiny little brush load. Those things in the ocean with scales, gills, and fins. Goaty. Yeah. Let's see. I don't get it. Hold on. I'm My reading comprehension is really bad today. I don't know why. I'm just like blowing through everything. Probably because I'm running late. Oh, yeah. So you can be a lot more subtle. I mean, I guess you could do like 10 drops of whatever you wanted to kind of tent, but if you're just going small, you can go a lot more subtle by doing a little brush. Uh, yeah, you exploded my brain. Doing a little brush full instead of doing drops, which I think is how Josh does it, right? How he does what? I missed that first part. Sorry. How he mixes color. Oh, yes. I believe he uses the end of his brush. Yeah, I think he does like little brush loads, so... Um, yeah, I might turn this light on. Maybe that'll make it, I think that makes the color a little better. So, that would be really cool. What? I know we were talking about, you know, like that was something that was still in progress, but imagine if we could make Thalo green just glow as brightly as it looks. Yeah, I'd like that. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. The problem is with the glow in the dark, because that's what I wanted to, is I didn't want the regular glow in the dark that was just like the yellow color, but um, anything you add to it brings down the phosphorescence. And uh, yeah, Anne was actually talking about the, today on the show. The, uh, the you can't have both, you have to choose one or the other phosphorescence or color or, oh, or, or bright. coverage, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so. Though, I'll be honest, I don't know a whole lot about paint, so n no idea. I'll default to what you say. I can't go too deep into it anyway because um, I never know how much you're supposed to share, but I feel like formula stuff is pretty pretty non-share stuff. But, um, but it's complicated because there are some really pretty glowing colors that I would want to make. That being said, I feel like we got the glow in the dark to work. Um, it was just different. It was a different consistency. And Ed doesn't want to release a color that is not necessarily a paint. Howdy, Dave Dwyer. He doesn't want to release a color that isn't a paint? Well, it is a paint, but it behaves differently than a paint. So you know how hard oh, it is. Like the whole ink it, or not kind of thing. Oh right? God, that's a whole yeah. So like we we talk about like oh we don't want to make inks right we want to make paint kind of thing and I assume it's in the same line of oh. reasoning right. Um, or or want to make inks? Listen, I don't know. We at okay. All those... We make inks. Hi, the Calisandra. Um, we make inks. Um. I was actually going to like put this out to my little um, to my little group here. Uh, who uses inks and what do you guys think of them? Like, how do you use them? What do you use them for? How do you feel about um, our inks? I think the formulas change just a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get an idea of, of ink, the ink situation. I think, uh, oh, Rings Raccoon. 
Oh, the Colossandra is only here for a few minutes. Okay, so um, we're giving away phthalo colors, Colossandra, um, for probably like while supplies last, but also on Reaper Live tonight. So um, be here for that if you can. And if not, um, Thursdays will be our phthalo Thursdays uh, until until further notice. We're giving away the thalo blue, thalo green, and orange, clear orange. Put these. Yeah, I've heard that, Trash Aroma. I've heard. Okay, so I heard that there was this guy that does really basic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be on Reaper Live tonight. There does really basic um, commissions. And on his most basic, he just doesn't do any details he just uses like an ink on the face and somebody told me it's really nice ring jacoon uses them primarily as glazes to give a jewel like quality to colors i want to use them more on minis but reaper has so few inks for that purpose uh casmania prefers artist inks uh daily roni instead of reapers even though have all reaper inks yeah i'd, I'd like to look at some um I'd, I'd like to look at that situation and see how it's going. Maybe I can get this orange to look right. Justin, I got to tell you, and I'm not, I'm not being dramatic. I'm in hell. Um, I can, I can empathize. I can really empathize. I know you can, because this is your baby, too. But, man, am I just in it to win it. Um... Let me see if I can fix. On a kind of separate side note, this is kind of blowing my mind. I didn't realize we actually made inks. Yes. What are they? Are they just in the regular paint line? Or is mm -hmm. this like a product? 90, scene, 9208, 209, and 210. So there's three. Uh, yes. And there used to be more. We used to have a purple and a blue. Okay, that's better. That's a better color. Okay, so you can kind of see what we got going. Uh, uh, Lord Day Furious. Yeah, I'm feeling okay. I'm I'm in a weird spot, um, in life. But most mostly, what I'm not stoked on today is the color. I'm over. <laughs> I'm overworking in this office, uh, even though I love it, and it's. It's more personal. Uh, I just want things to look the way they're supposed to look. That being said, we're pretty close now. Having the, the thalo, or not thalo, orange. Uh, having the orange here helped me a lot. Because I was like, hey, I can kind of match that. And it, it sort, sort of stays the same. So, but anyway. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Trasharama says less turkey colored. Yeah, that's that's true. Now it looks purple, but the, that's closer to it. Um, Kooves, we are going to have... Oh, I think tonight on Reaper Live, we're going to open up a ghoulie bag. But um, Hallowed Orange is coming back, which is our first... Hallowed Orange is our first sample, if I remember correctly. Um, so we didn't have a formula for it and Rhonda Bender sent hers in. So we were able to like recreate it, which is really exciting. Really, really exciting. I'm very happy about that. So, um, hallowed orange and brains pink are going to be our ghoulie bag colors. I couldn't remember last week because I had gone back and forth. Um, I'd picked a few colors one was going to be in our ReaperCon kit and one was going to be in the Kickstarter. And I really want to give people colors that are like neat. Um, so what is it? Any order? Is it like $40 or more? Do you know the, do you know the ghoulie bag stitch? It's like, um, I thought it was 40, but that doesn't mean anything. Cause I, yeah. once again, I, I don't know to be honest. It sounds right to us guys, but we'll know more tonight. Ron will give us the details. Um, which we love. Ron gives good details. We've got so much color shit going on. I think I've told Ron like 
five times in the last couple of weeks. Like, eh, it'll buff out, Ron. And while I mean it, I think he thinks I'm being, like, uh, facetious or, yeah, facetious. But I'm not. It really will buff out. Oh, I found feather. That's not fire. That's feather. Whoopsies. Guys, I found the funniest article. I'm going to have to see if I can find it without taking too much time away from painting. But it's about Thalo. Uh, Reaper color shit. Order today. Yeah, that, that'd be my fast palette. Color shit. I think I said we have a lot of color shit going on. Ugh, like that much. Um... It's so, sorry, I got a uh, paint on my shirt. Let me see if I can't find that, that article, because it was so funny. Okay, we're going to go into a little bit of... The pigment, I think. No, we'll, maybe we'll do that a different week. Okay, here's the article. It's so funny. It's on a blog, like an artist blog. It's called Why I Dumped Thalo Blue and Started Dating Her Less Intense Cousin. Isn't that funny? It's about, um, I think it's about Ultramarine. Yeah, ultramarine blue, which is different than thalo blue. Um, if it were on the color wheel, ultramarine tilts violet as thalo blue tilts green. Uh, ultramarine is most universally accepted pigment on the landscape painter's palette. Cannot produce the distinct hue thalo can, even when mixed with other colors. Let's see... Anyway, anyway, I just thought it was a really funny article, and it's good. And it shows, like, thalo plus white, and it shows Mediterranean, azure blue, and manganese blue. Which I don't know too, too much about, but um, I do know that when I was in design, we did this project, which I loved. And I'm, like, it makes me so happy that even though, okay, so, like, sidetrack for a minute or for the whole episode, even though I know, like, I always say we're so busy and I'm like, things are stressful. Like, I have a really cool, cushy job. I love it. I, I don't think it gets gets uh, much cooler than what I get to do. And um, so when I was going to school for art and design, we did a lot of, like, cut paper and no color. Like, that was the first quarter or half of the class so by the time you get to color you get so excited because you're like yes I'm not cutting paper anymore it's not just shape I guess um so one thing she had us do is she would pass out the the instructor uh professor would pass out these color chips like you'd get from a paint store and you would match the color um Let's see. So anyway, I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really cool. But when I was doing that, I was trying to use, you know, because like college is more expensive when you add art supplies. So I got to this point where I was like, okay, I'll use expensive um, oil paints for my painting class and I'll use real cheap shitty paint for my um, for my design class. So I was using my like cheap shitty paints and she was telling me that you have to use certain colors to get other colors. So she gave me a, a I think she gave me like a cerulean blue. But um, we've talked about this before, which is what colors you actually need to make every color. Which, yeah, you need red, yellow, and blue, black, and white. But there are specific, specific ones. So maybe when we get more into color theory, we'll talk about that uh, more. But uh, but anyway, just at least we sidetracked into color. But uh, this is a really cool job. You get to just match colors. 
one thing that's like hard about this job for me the reason you get samples is because um because you've gone too far with something to the point where you're going to have to add enough pigments. It's just not going to be worth it. You might as well just sample it out. Oh, that's one reason. That's your uh-oh samples. Um, and I hate giving up. I hate it. I would rather like really work at it all day and sink a bunch of time and money into it. So, um, but I, I like matching color. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not really going anywhere with that. We're talking about spicy nuggets right now. Uh, somebody liked, somebody liked, uh, the McDonald's spicy nuggets, said they're okay, not amazing, and someone else wanted to know how it relates to Wendy's. Wendy's nuggets are superior, although the mighty hot sauce that comes with them is pretty solid. Yeah. I don't like spicy. Oh, it will be to unlock the first giveaway, guys, because I know people are curious. It's oh. uh, every subs. Every five? Yes. How many do we have? Two? We have two currently, yes. All right, we need three more, and we can give away these Thalos. <laughs> and remember, it's both Thalos and, and a the, Poke Tool. And the orange and the, and the Poke Tool. We're going to do the orange. We might as well. I don't want orange to know that it's not as talked about. It really does make me sad. It's like when Ron called some of our colors dogs. Or I think he put out a hypothetical, like hypothetically a color is a dog. Thanks, Carwin. Um, and I was like, excuse me, excuse me. No. Boop, boop. I'm into them. I like the clears and I can't wait till all the, uh, Oh, good, Spoons. Uh, Spoon says clear orange I use, the thalos I don't. So it's good we included the oranges. I can't wait until we can release like a fast palette of all the clears. Oh, so we were talking in Paint Club. What was that secret clear? Was it a yellow? Which one? The happy yellow? I don't know about that. If it's happy yellow, it was uh, not a clear. Um, and then there's there's three more clears coming out in the Kickstarter. That might have been what we're talking about. Because I think I was talking about clears that maybe I couldn't talk about. Might have been an orange. Um, there's so much I need to do. I need to have a Kickstarter graphic I can always pull up so I can know exactly what's in it. Okay, so we have our our flames. I had this really cool graphic I was going to show, but I guess I won't. But it was like how fire looks. Howdy, Albevazin. Howdy, Nomad Zeke. Uh, just got back from the farmer's market. That's fancy. That's very Denton. Lantern yellow? Yeah, the patron saint of painters would have a thalo on his head. Yeah, uh, Nomad, or uh, Albevazin, I think this is the most popular. The Naughty Kraken. Palomino yellow? Palomino gold? Uh, not open yet, um, I think. We have two more. Oh, no, no, one more. Thank you, Keldor 187. One more. Oh, I bet that, I bet, I bet it is Lantern Yellow. No, actually, I don't think it is Lantern Yellow. I'll let you know for sure, though. But we've got a um, red oxide coming out. I'll look it up on Anne's Patreon. Thank you, Sarducci. You're our hero. Okay. So, I want to make a wash to go over this. Uh, I always think you start off light and go darker. 
Maybe I'll just make this fire really light. And I'll just go lighter. Don't like that. Yeah, let's go lighter. Let's go lighter. Let's build up. Or maybe I'll do a wash. I'll do a wash. We'll figure this out. Don't worry. Nobody panic. Okay. And secret clears. 9072 is red oxide. 9074 is yellow ochre. Um... 29830 is ready brown. It's a brown oxide. It's canceled. 29849 is umber brown. Also canceled. 29846 spruce green and 29847 rich indigo were very saturated. Translucent colors that were close to single pigment also canceled. Okay, so I believe the indigo triad is coming back in Kickstarter. Um... I can't wait till we're in the studio. Now, Justin, whenever we do my show, are you going to be in that little room? I will be. Why don't we put painting platinum, painting platinum in there too? Then I, I um, got, I gotta. You're gonna have me in your ear. A what? You're gonna have me in your ear. No, I, I want to be able to look over your shoulder while you look stuff up for us. <laughs> okay. That's so uh, I'm gonna have to go in there and carve out my space. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Now I forgot what I was gonna look up. Oh yeah. Um, what Kickstarter are we on? Eight, nine. Five. <laughs> uh, four. Yeah, I think we're on four. Bone 17. Let's see. Valander says, Sometime today I have paints arriving. Wash is one. Silver tone metal. Imperial purple. Rosy skin. Uniform brown. Faded khaki. And charred brown with a halfling. Ooh. Yeah, Justin has no personal space. I got the... I got the poor boundaries. Uh, I don't want the pledge manager. I want the like, I think I want the stretch goals. Holy Lord. Are we on bones four though? No, we're on. I mean, we just did five. We haven't fulfilled it yet. Dang we it. Confirm bone six. I saw Brian on there. <laughs> that, that was what tipped me off. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. And said lantern yellow is almost a clear. It is almost a clear. Uh... Sorry, guys. I'm not getting much done on this. I probably need to um, write down what I'm going to do on these minis so I'm not, like, trying to decide on the fly. I wish you could, like... I can't find it. Oh, wait. Well, there's a learn to paint. Oh, wait. Sorry, I know this isn't good stream, but I'm trying to find so I can let you know what's in the Kickstarter. I wonder what day Halloween's on this year. On a Saturday, I think. Is it really? Yeah, there's no strict a script. Yeah, script. 
Uh, yeah, there is in the Learn to Paint kits. Oh, and the Halloween's a blue moon. I like that. I like special moon things. Okay. Oh, well. So I'm going to do a wash. I'm going to use... Yeah, no stripping either. That's against Twitch TOS. I was about to ask if there's a Twitch where you can... Not a Twitch, but if there's a platform you can do whatever you want. And then I got to thinking it probably would not anything I want to be a part of. Yeah, I would say OnlyFans is probably uh, what you're thinking of. I've never got on the OnlyFans. But I have a... I have a couple friends that do OnlyFans. I'm sure I got a lot of people I know that do OnlyFans. All right. Harking back to the, uh, to the old days. <laughs> yep. Back in my day, we didn't have OnlyFans. I guess we're still in my day. Yeah, spoons, that's what I was thinking. That's not what I'm not what I'm wanting. It just seems like a hassle. So I've made this really nice glow wormy color out of one drop phthalo blue, one drop phthalo green, and then a uh, unspecified number of drops of of uh, ghost fire I wish I had uh, I think it's ghost fire these are what I'm using right now ghost fire phthalo blue phthalo green I know there's other things you can do with the clears too I wonder if I can do some stuff over my fire that like changes it and makes it neat I like Ghost Fire a lot. I'm very, very happy with the way things turned out on this last uh, little paint adventure. Um, I was really nervous about it, and I had a lot of, like, analysis paralysis, and I was getting a little too much input. Like, this is my, this is kind of my downfall, is I will, um, I will try and get input from everybody to the point where it's like, I don't even know what to do anymore. I do that in a lot of areas of my life. So I need to be more confident and just follow my follow my heart because I really I really like pieces of eight and when I first showed it uh to Collins, he was like, Yeah, but how close is this to uh Sophie Silver or Sophie Champagne? And I was like, probably pretty close. Uh <laughs> I've got I've got very specific taste. Um, but, and then the thing is, pieces of eight are all different. I think they're silver or gold, right? I don't know, but Bones 5 Paints. Thank you, Z-Wazzy Race. Uh, Carnival Purple, Bruised Purple, Ashen Brown. So those are artist favorite colors. And then Black Indigo, Rich Indigo, and Wild Violet. Um, Ochre Yellow, Oxidized Red, Oxidized Brown. Orchid purple, lotus orange, and leaf bud, uh, leaf bud, leaf bud green. Um, I believe the Reapercon colors are still going to be available. I'm not sure about that. We've been going back and forth on on stuff like that, but I think that the Bones line has the right number of paint. Yeah, leaf bud green. Um, there's a there's a number of paint you would need for a rack. And this is the deal. This is like the trouble that is coming with with all the new colors. Okay, I'm going to add more blue because shadows are supposed to be more cool. That's a lot of, that's a lot of thalo. I'm having a thalo party over here. So I don't know what I'm going to go for, but like, uh, 
since I got no olds and I'm not married and I don't have kids, my life is just kind of like, I've got a lot of free time lately and I want to go back to school. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to do it because I went to community college so that I could get an associates because if you get an associates, at least in Texas, at least from what I know, all your credits transfer. So you can go to a school and not have to worry if your credits transfer. So I think I'll go back for, I have, I have like, I have to take another drawing class and another painting class for my art side. And then for my theater side, I think I just have to take practicum. And there's a couple of core classes I have to take. Um, and then I think I'm going to do something new and I'm not sure if I want to do like uh, this week it's architecture. I really like precision. So, um, but anyway, whatever I get into, hopefully I'll get to take some classes and, and, uh, add to what we do here. Astrophysics. I don't think I'm a physics girl. Thanks, uh, Samurai Jack. I think we're open now for the hashtag free. So hashtag free. Yeah, let me open it up here. We're giving away a phthalo blue, clear orange, clear phthalo green. All clears. All clears. Um, physics, chemistry, marine biology, acting. I would like to take it all. I'm sure we all remember the, um, the classic film Son-in-Law the Polly Shore film. Um, but you remember, did you ever see that? I'm sure you did. I did not. Whatever. Did you really not? And I'm also not really a Polly Shore fan. Shut up. I'm not. How many I'm times, sorry. how many times have I told you to shut up today? Can I fucking tell you something? Go ahead. <laughs> Although, uh, hopefully, with you less already know words. what I'm about to say. What? Hopefully with less F words, please. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm going to use an F word, but it's not that F word. I was oh, listening great. to a podcast a couple, few years ago, because Daryl was still in this department and Polly Shore was on it. And like, I saw a picture from the podcast uh, <laughs> um, and I was like listening to him and I was like, man, Polly Shore is a fox. Like, why was he so annoying? And then he started doing his weasel stuff and I was like, oh yeah. Polly Shore's fox, and he's held up. But anyway, son-in-law, it's not Citizen Kane, okay? All right, like don't, don't watch it thinking you're gonna get, um, you know, The Godfather. But uh, he, and it, just watch it, just watch it. It's good. It's got the kid from the um, a spoons. You think he aged like milk? It's kind of rough last I saw him. Like, Oh, yeah, he's cheesy for sure. Um, but Didn't he do one of the horses in the Goofy movie? I think he did. I think he was the uh, the the guy who made the Leaning Tower of, of the Cheese. Yeah, yeah, the guy. I don't know his name, but... um. I don't either, but I, I think that was my last... Uh, Polly Shore movie that I really liked. Well, that another another great film, documentary. Uh, hi, Red Team Medic. Um, I am a big fan of Mitzi Shore, and what she did for the comedy community. Like, I'm really into the Comedy Store, and uh, kind of cultivated, you know, a, a big, great group of of artists. Though, you know what's funny? Um, I think she didn't like Seinfeld. She didn't like Jerry Seinfeld. But um, I think Robin Williams was a part of the comedy store. Others. Other great ones. So the Shore, the Shore clan is great. And like, I don't know. I don't know that Polly does stand up well. I don't know how... Um, I don't know. Comedy is so weird, but there aren't that many people who just make you laugh your ass off. Like, there, there are a few. I, I found one recently, but it's not really stand-up. And I don't like his stand-up as much. 
But anyway, what I was saying was that um, Polly Shore in that movie Son-in-Law was like a career student. Like he wouldn't quit going to school. And I, I want to do that. I love school. I love school and I love learning. The other day I was like driving and I was like just overwhelmed with happiness because I realized like, hey, I don't know that much. There's a lot for me to learn. It just felt good. It felt like being at the beginning of a really good book, you know? I don't know. So I'm excited to get back into learning. And I know you can learn a lot on the internet. So that's that's one thing that I don't want to get stuck in. Like, I don't want to, like, I was thinking about graphic design, but I don't think you have to have a degree for graphic design. I think you can learn to graphic uh, graphic design. And I also just don't know how relevant it is. I want something that's good for Reaper, but that's also something I would like. Spoon says my ex-wife was trying to be a career student. She was on year seven or eight of a four-year degree. A Sharky in the tent. Seinfeld is, I think he's different. Uh... I, I just don't think he's very warm. I know there's that video of, is it Kesha that tried to give Jerry Seinfeld a hug? And she was like, can I hug you? And he was like, no. And he wasn't like really like a monster about it, but, um, but yeah. Business. I could get a degree in business. I know that, um, I know that UNT just made this a few years ago. I think they have, like, a new business, whatever, center. I really, I was thinking about mechanical engineering because all of our stuff is, like, all these machines are, are so complicated. Um, and it would be heavy math, but I think I could do it. And I think it would make me feel, like, more accomplished. I just, if it came to leaving Reaper, which I wouldn't want to, but let's say Reaper just exploded, would I want to work in that industry with without being here? And, and I don't know. Um, maybe what's nice about Reaper and I don't, I don't know, Justin, if mm, not so much you, Justin, cause you have, you have a, a strict schedule, but at Reaper, you can kind of be as introverted or extroverted as you want to, depending on your position here, depending on the day. So if I were just having a day where it's not even like a bad mood, just sometimes I just, I feel like I'd rather pull out my teeth than talk. Or talking is like pulling teeth. That's less grotesque. Um, I still have days when I feel like that. I just, unfortunately... Nothing you can do about it? Yeah, not much you can do about it. But I can be like, a lot of metallics got to get made. I'm going to the sparkle shed. I'll be back in an hour. Uh, yeah, Dr. Bob, that's what happens when that light finally goes off in, in Ron's office. Um, I like Seinfeld a whole lot. Uh, let's see. Seinfeld TV show is a series of thoroughly unlikable people, in your opinion, and stupid unlikable things. I do not like Seinfeld show. I'm not like Seinfeld. So I, okay, I really like Seinfeld. I really liked Kramer. Uh, Kramer wasn't unlikable. Newman was super unlikable. Um, nah. I like George a whole lot. Anytime I think about being an architect, I think about George. There is, okay, there is a video of uh, Jason Alexander talking about George Costanza and how he realized th that he was based on Larry David, and it, it's really funny. It's on YouTube. Uh, if you're into it, you gotta hunt it down. Uh, yeah, Art Vandalay. Oh yeah, Trashorama. We won't even we won't even go into that. There was an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm within it, in it that was not so bad. I would hate to be the type of person that when I get really angry, that's where I go. Is a place like that. Um, check your damn voicemail, Red. What's really funny is that like okay, uh, 
Justin knows all about this, but I had a boyfriend that I used to fight with all the time. Like, not fist fight, but, like, uh, just argue with. I don't know if everybody goes through that, but I had one of those. And uh, when I lived in Justin, there was a lot more, like, drinking and partying going on. And I had had a few to drink, and my girl roommate, I had a boy roommate and a girl roommate, um, told me that she heard me fighting with him. And she could tell I was a good person because I just said, why are you being so mean? <laughs> like, that was my, like, really angry. And I was like, I like that. That makes me feel pure. Oh, Jerry Stiller. Thank you, Image of Betrayal. I think that's something we can all agree on is uh, Jerry Stiller. Um, Sunny got, Sunny got rough, but I like, I like always Sunny. Uh... I like that in the way Sunny, um, D and Mac are really married in real life, and Charlie and the waitress are really married in real life. I think that's adorable. Do you watch Always Sunny? Actually, we recently, um, I've tried to watch it three or four or five times at this point, and we recently started it back up, and I think I made it through the first three seasons before I kind of lost interest again, but it has all of the formula of what I would enjoy in a show as far as like other shows I like that are very similar. But it just never keeps my attention. I was get doesn't feel to to me it doesn't feel like there's an X factor. It's just kind of, eh, you know. Danny DeVito, hello. Uh, you're right though, or something. Oh, stretch mark pink. You'll never forget. Serenity now, silver. I love Serenity now. Oh, Festivus. I thought about making a Festivus poll, Silver, but not everybody's into it. I was going to bring it up. I was going to bring Seinfeld up because I was in the office supply store and they had one of those astronaut pins that you can write underwater or upside down, which I've never understood with normal pins. Can you not write upside down? Like, I don't, I don't get it, but, mm -hmm. uh. I think you can until, like, you just can't leave it upside down, maybe. Like, if you actually gravity's... truly left the... Yeah, you're still relying on gravity in some way. Um, that made me think of Seinfeld. Yeah, the, the pens. Uh, Festivus Steel, exactly, Dr. Bob. Um, toward the end with my grandparents... I don't know if it's that old people are really cold or if it's that they're really willing to be uncomfortable, but my grandpa kept it at 85 in the house. 85. And in that, it was that episode of Seinfeld where Jerry and Elaine went down to Florida to visit his parents and they'd like never used the AC before and they put Elaine on a fold out couch. So Elaine's back got all messed up and, um, and they didn't use the AC. Um, Dr. Bob says NASA spent millions developing an ink pen that writes upside down, underwater, in vacuum, etc. The Russian gave their cosmonauts pencils. Yeah, because they're lame. Just kidding. I don't really. I don't. I'm not the age where I have that level of, uh, I guess, competition with Russia. I'm not. I'm not the russian competition generation i'm the we're millennials so we're overconfident we don't have the competitive i don't know i'm generalizing i mean when the ussr is just going to alter what the uh, books say anyway when they get back does it matter what they write in giggle giggle oh can't use pencils in space graphite particles conduct I did hear about that. Oh, I Shan Loki says my father-in-law keeps his house around 82 all year. I hate being in the house there. Uh, my fi my family finally got uh, tired of me like being because getting hot makes me a little crazy, like not mean, but it makes me like I just start losing my mind and I think they got sick of it. So <laughs> my uncle bought me a window unit and anytime I've like talked about it, it'll be like best money I've ever spent. Um, so 
I love a good window unit. Let's make his little feetsies. We're gonna use, oh, let's use lantern yellow. Spoons, I'm, I'm heavy, like, wherever I'm from, I don't know. Well, okay, so there's a couple things. Um, I can't handle cold at all, but I do get crazy when it's hot. But it's probably because I'm from, like, from somewhere really far north. Um, but then I also take um, antidepressants, and I've read that people that take antidepressants, something in your brain doesn't regulate heat as well. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's why, but I do get real crazy if I get hot. Like when I get in a hurry, it's always because I'll go to my boyfriend's house or I'll stay home and I have to pack and it's usually after work. Um, so when I'm like in a hurry and I'm packing and I'm doing whatever and I get hot, that's just my recipe for being crazy. Like I can, I can predict it. So I have to like, I have to turn a fan on and move really slowly and um, so I do the same thing because a lot of times I have a lot of work to do to get the show going on Thursdays. And if I remind myself like, hey, I'm going to make it, it's not a big deal. And I move really slowly. Um, that's why. SSRI. Well, I just read it's psychiatric drugs in general. Um, Hyper Bunny says we lived with my in-laws for nine months. The thermostat was a huge deal. We were upstairs on our own system, but the office was also upstairs. He wanted it to be 78 all the time, even at night, so he couldn't be cold in the morning in his office. I can't sleep at 78. Sleep deprivation is torture. I hated it there. That's absolutely true. It's not good to sleep hot. My boyfriend's old house didn't get that cool. Like, it was just an old house, and his room was um, added on, and it just didn't, it just did not work. So, um, he moved to this new house. Okay, and like if you live in Denton, you have to be on the Denton Electric Company, which I don't see how that's legal. I don't get it. I thought there wasn't allowed to be a monopoly, but I guess I guess if it's just one city, it's not. But doesn't it seem like a monopoly if there's literally only one um, electric company that you can use? Anyway, so now he has a different one and they've got like the free nights. So he turns it. It was like. I think it was on like 65 the other day, which is just really cold for me. Uh, you live with old people and you put it on 65, they're going to be upset. No, it's not a monopoly if it's si a state or city owned. Really, Image? I don't know. I just think there's got to be competition, right? Uh, so I would say, I wouldn't say 78 is hot, depending on if it legit is 78 or not. We had a, we had pretty good AC, but, uh, I've, I've been at places where it says it's one thing and you're like, this is not, that's no, that's not what it is. Certain areas are deregulated. Others, uh, mostly mun municipally served areas are not. Ooh. Yeah, HM Road Dog. Um, I, we've had some like that. But we've got a big house. So uh, that's why my family's into the like window units. Because usually you're not in like a whole big house all the time. Thank you, Drowkry. I'm glad you're glad to be here. We're glad to have you here. I am having a hard time getting back like into the swing of things. After ReaperCon and just probably because this is the colors not behaving like I want, but it, it's just hard to be back in the swing of things. And also, I bet it's a little bit like, I heard this a lot in acting, is that if you don't get off book, like if you don't memorize your lines, that you'll never really be able to act because it's not going to come naturally to you. It's not going to be second nature. So I think because I don't have instructions, I'm not off book and I'm not as free, but that's okay. It, it, we'll get there. I have ideas. Yeah, you're probably right, Dr. Bob. 
um, where I live, the temperature can rise from below zero to 70s over the course of a day. We actually set records for it. Interesting. Hyper Bunny, 68's perfect. I love 68. I actually, like, 68 is the uh, paint department. If I'm, like, mixing, because I'm mixing, uh, lifting buckets, like, five-gallon buckets, I'll put it at 69. And if I'm really, like, really working, I'll put it at 68. Uh, but if not, we'll keep it at 71 or 75. That's the, that's the paint department. Temp. And Ed will do like a, a walk around the shop, kind of like a mall walker thing, but a reaper walker thing. In fact, I think he used, he used to go to the mall and play Pokemon and, and mess around, but, uh, they're trying to avoid crowds and people. So anyway, like sometimes they'll walk around reaper and he'll come in and we're like, really cold in here what do you have it set on and I'll just look at him like a crazy hot person I need to put my readers on. I'm making a mess. Okay. So the problem I've got here, I guess I'll like rebase coat it, is that that yellow is getting all muddied up and I really, I don't know. Well, let's put some orange in it. Dr. Bob says Ed has a pokey stop outside the building now, so he doesn't have to go. Yeah, uh, Xtort 4711. What it is, is if my hand's there or not, I think. I think that's what it is. It's the, it's the damn F and what's it called? I don't even think it's the white balance, but whatever it is, it's a technical problem that whenever I move into the real studio, it'll get fixed. Um, it is actually the white balance. White balance. Because what it's doing is when you put your hand under there, it's going, oh, that's white. And then it's it's color coloring everything else according to that. Which could throw color way off, obviously, as everyone is seeing. Maybe I could go back to school for what you're doing, Justin. I could take your gerb. Not really. I, I, I angled for being Justin's assistant forever. And... Uh... They were like, no, we're trying to drive Justin crazy. He can't have an assistant. Just kidding. Nobody ever said that. She says. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. But some days I believe that. Uh, I'll, you know, I'm kidding, of course. I heard some, Dave some maddening. bragging on you and John for ReaperCon, like just how well you did and how you didn't really need a whole lot of help and you were resourceful like i think dave's really proud of you guys i think we all are but dave i heard specifically sorry i'm away from my mic i gotta find my readers i mean dave is is for all intents and purposes and i think i've said this dave is very much like a a uh like a second father to me at this point like i've been with the company so long no offense to Ed, of course, um, but Dave is, has been the one that I think that over the course of the last, really the last four years, the first three years, I was kind of just a blip on the wall. But the last four years, he's he's been the person that I've grown the closest to at the company. So I feel that way about Dave, too. Um, Ed, though, I relate to a lot. Ed, have you ever noticed Ed thinks with like his hands and his hair? So you can tell like how wild Ed's day is by how crazy oh, his hair yes. is. She can. Yeah. I'm like that too. Like I'm very much like Ed and Ed will get to a point where he's like, Oh, this is the problem. And he'll fixate on it. And I do that too. Whatever, whatever we've got, we've both got. Which is probably why Ed's always like, there's nothing wrong with you. You're normal. I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right.
We'll say nothing wrong. Just a, a, a variant of normal, we'll say. I mean, what's normal? We won't get into that. I mean, come on, but... I think this needs to be a little more brown. I think that's the problem, is that everything's so bright. It's like a... But we can take that down. We can take things from bright to, to more muted. I don't know that I've seen a chicken's feet in a while. Now that I'm thinking about it, chicken feet might be pink. Oh, Hyper Bunny says, I also use the excuse we have a tortoise habitat in our home, so we can't have a huge variation in temperature if we don't want to start weird cycles of hibernation. That is smart. I'm thinking about getting a fish. I hope you don't ever leave, Justin. Uh, I knew, I know they do like you and they can trust you. And that's not always... I mean, everybody here is cool. Don't get me wrong, but anything can happen. You could always get a crazy... I don't even know what you are. Producer? Uh, depends on the day, really. <laughs> yeah. I feel Technical that. Technical director, producer, you name it. Cat cowboy? Cat cowboy. I like that one. That one's my favorite. Thinking if I take this copper, okay, so the opposite of orange is blue, and I want it pink. So if I do just like a wash of something. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Oh, I've got cinnamon red. Maybe if I do like a cinnamon red with something else. Valander, um, were you the one that wanted a peach a while back? Somebody wanted a peach, but not like our bright skin and something else. And I was trying to think of like, I hope it was Valander. Um, cause I'd like to make a peach. We don't have time right now cause you know, stuff. Hopefully we announce it tonight, but we're doing something really cool for Christmas holidays we are what are we doing well i can't tell you in front of everybody uh, i know i was that was a trap oh. wouldn't that have been funny if i started telling you well like don't tell anybody it's really neat though but it yeah between you and me yeah just don't just keep it in the circle in the trust tree guys um no but it's gonna double it's gonna double paints uh, holiday load which is fine what would we be doing if we weren't busy working on the next the new next that's a relatively phoenixy foot color I think I want monster ma for this mix but I don't have it so I'll just have to jack around until I get something I like you will all know soon enough and it'll be exciting and happy and we'll all clap thanks Melodrock so we've got six now if we get f four more we can give away another phthalo phthalo bundle Phthalo and clear bundle. Phthalo's and orange. Yeah, that's closer to what I like. Somebody in the uh, Reaper group on Facebook did a really nice phoenix. It's a lot smoother than what I'm trying to do, but I guess that's what glazes are for, right? And washes. Glazes and washes. So... I have my like wash over the flame. I think I want to go in and um, deepen like in the center. Uh, oh, okay, um, M. Gronig, let me see if I remember exactly. And wet blending says uh, 
Spring Sharkoon. Okay. So what's going to come out in November is the ReaperCon commemorative set two. And what is going to be in that is we're going to have the pirate triad. So um, Powder Burn Brown, Pirate Gold, and Clouded Sea. Then we're going to have the Reaper Live Triad. That's the Rose Gold, Sophie Silver, and um, what else is in that? Oh, Drown Up a Pink. And then the Frontier Blue, Rich Green, Cactus Flower. Oh, what else is in that? And then the clears. The clear thalo blue, clear thalo green, and clear orange. So, um, that's what's coming in the commemorative set, too. Now, that probably won't be... Okay, so, what I would imagine, and this is just me, I have no authority. What I would imagine is that that commemorative set is going to change because we have ReaperCon colors, uh, as, as you saw, we have ReaperCon colors that are going into the Kickstarter colors. So that Carnival Purple, that was a, that was a ReaperCon color. So eventually I would like it to be more, I, I would like that to go into it. So Drown Opal Pink, Rose Gold, and Sophie Silver would not be a part of that. Um... Let me swatch those. Um, I don't have them on me, but tonight, if I, if, okay, it's 422. So let's, let's wrap up um, and I will swatch those. Guys, I got these really cool. I'll show you now because uh, people in Reaper Alive don't care as much about my, my little fun stuff. But, um, so cleaning out very slowly cleaning out my grandparents house and my grand my grandma was like a garage sailor and she was also like super social so she would go to a garage sale and she'd get to talking to the people and then she'd feel like oh, i can't leave unless i get something she'd feel bad but um i found something that nobody else wanted a few somethings um i've got these whole stacks and they're dusty right now. These whole stacks of these giant tiles. And I can always tell that like, oh, maybe not this one. They, yeah, 25 cents. Boom, garage sale. So anyway, I can, uh, uh, thanks, McKnight. I think we're at seven. So three more and we'll give away another Thalo set. So so anyway, I'll swatch them on this. I have a lot of space now. Like that. Uh, no, I need the tile. And it'll break. Now I'm the hoarder. Maybe one day, though. But I, I do have, actually, I do have a really special project that's coming up that, um, that I'm going to use these for. And I think you're really, really going to like them, and I'm really excited. Uh, uh, okay. So... Um, so we'll swatch those tonight and I think Ron's going to empty out the ghoulie bag and we're going to give away, uh, I can, I could probably send a tile. I'll, I'll probably throw a tile in. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how, how, how much it is to ship a tile. We'll think about it. We'll think about that for the future. Um, oh, Bandar says, I noticed the Reaper Con colors have been added to the paint rack app makes me happy to call my paint tracking OCD. I love that. I would also like to, um, I I've talked about this a lot and I have no time to do it, but I would like to make a color wheel out of our colors. Um, it's just going to take time. We're so busy that certainly not clocked in. Could I ever, justify doing a project like that not to the bosses but to myself um but yeah that's my and, and I kind of have to be here or else I would have to take home the rack and look pretty suspicious yeah I wish you could do that too image of trail is paint rack on ios yet last I checked they weren't but they came uh 
Um, Anne has a color wheel with all the colors on them, Casmania. Um, that's really, that's really useful. That's a uh, painting big. Uh, oh, paint track is finally on iOS. I like that. Paint, paint track, paint rack. Um, they came to ReaperCon one year and they toured and they're like, we're from paint rack. And I like, I couldn't think of what they were for a minute. And I was like, oh yeah. Um, I think it was them. They're from Austin. And, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty stoked on that. I should download that. So, anyway, I've, like, filibustered this whole episode, but that's okay. I think Justin needed a rest. No, I've got no problem with you. When you, honestly, when you run off with it, it's usually not a bad thing, necessarily. I don't have to constantly, you know, engage. I think this is, this show is more of an expression or an internal monologue from you than it is a back and forth, you know? Not soon, so, when I move into that little room with painting platinum, when we get into the control I move st- into that little room. <laughs> yeah, w- when we're in the control station, we'll talk about it. All right. All right, guys. Well, we'll I think we're going to draw the winner. It. Right. Yes. And I'm going to look for a Do you have a Do you have a raid picked out? I do not. Why don't you pick us out one? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, our winner is. Are we doing that? Our winner is Doctor Bob seven eight one five. Yeah, good job, Doctor Bob. You will get the clear phalo, green, blue, and the clear orange. Let me make sure that's. Uh... Yeah, killing it, and that is going to be. These are these are three that are in the uh, commemorative set. So there's a guy on Twitch right now that looks like Carlos, one of our packagers. Mm, Browse. This is something I won't be able to do whenever we're in a studio. So I guess I should enjoy it while it lasts. I think I've picked somebody. Yes, you did, Dr. Bob. Oh, yeah, you do get a pokey tool, too. Three paints and a pokey tool. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I think I picked somebody, but I'll come back to it. Oh my God, this guy looks like Robert Smith. But he's talking about phobias. It's a draw long stream. I don't think we'll go with him, but I'm going to remember who that is because he looks like Robert Smith. Live tattooing, be respectful. Like that. Somebody's drawing with Procreate. Doesn't that sound like a dirty program? Procreate? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh. Sorry. Oh, they just drawn triangles. This person looks like they're in MS Paint. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the one I picked. This was a tough one, guys. There were a lot of there were a lot of winners. Oh, Chewy Boots. Well, uh, Dr. Dr. Bob is our winner. Um, What are they doing? That looks like... Looks 
like sculpting. Now I see why it's important that you have a title. I usually don't do a title, but now I see why it's important. Okay, I think we should go to Mary underscore Amber Works. Um, she's wood burning. It looks like an owl, or maybe that's just her logo. But she's wood burning something. All right. I wish I could smell it. I wish I'd be in there with her. Maybe one day we'll have that technology. So, thanks, Rings Raccoon. I, I'm the winner here. I'm the real winner. You guys are the best. Um, I'll see you back here at 6 o'clock for Reaper Live when you get another chance to win the clears. Um, I don't know if I'm going to give away all three. We're going to talk about, we're going to talk about might be a little bit different, but um, we will see you there. And I think we're also going to unpack a little ghouly bag. So we'll talk about our ghouly bags and we will hopefully, if I can get it done real quick, we'll uh, show swatches of our ReaperCon 2 commemorative set. So we love you. Be safe. Might be a tile. Might have to talk somebody into that. Um, but yeah, that's uh wouldn't it be more special though, Rings Raccoon, if it were a tile with swatches already on it? Maybe not. I don't know. Because then you couldn't use it. Anyway. No, Dr. Bob, we're looking at probably, I think maybe maybe next week or the week after we'll be in, we'll be in studio. Yeah. It, it's coming together pretty quick. It'll be very soon. Yes. Thanks, you guys. Y'all are the best. Mwah. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the we'll wood see. burning. <laughs>